This is going to be a demonstration of all the different modes with my Linux package unit, or not package unit, Linux David uh, signature collection unit. This is the ultra premium Linux 99% efficient furnace. It's the highest model up on the list and I'm going to do a run up of all certain of some of the functions. I won't be testing the air conditioning today since it is winter, but I will be doing a full run up and rundown of some of the other stuff. So I will do a run up of the fan only at first. I have the Linux app on my iPad here so I can select the different modes. So I'm going to just click the fan to the on selection and you'll listen how quiet the fan is. I don't even know if the microphone is picking up the fan, but it is on. On fan only, it runs at a very, very slow speed. But that speed is quite a bit of air coming out of those vents. Now switch it off, or switch it back to auto. And there it went. So now I'm going to put it to heat mode. It has dropped a degree, so it's probably going to do a full call for heat. So we're going to select schedules. And we're going to set it to winter, and it'll go do its proper procedure. All right, it seems to be doing about 70-ish percent of the draft inducer. It is a multiple speed draft inducer along with a multiple speed lower unit. This has not a long pre-purge delay, but that was about maybe 20 seconds. Very slow compared to my York Diamond 80, which was the unit prior to this. The York Diamond 80 would probably do a pre-purge of about 10 seconds from the draft inducer starting to when the ignition lights off, and then it'd be about a 30 second to 45 second delay before the blower motor kicks in. This has a bit of a longer pre-program delay before the promoter kicks on. The draft inducer has just slowed down to an even slower speed. And I bet the blower fan is probably kicking on now. You won't be able to hear it, but there will be air coming out of the vents. And this is normally what it sounds like when it's running on normal without, without doing a full call. At the five minute mark, if the furnace has not satisfied, which it probably won't, I will bump it, turn it back to off, so I'll show you what it sounds like as it does a full cycle off. The blower fan does sound like it's running. So 
I will now show you what it sounds like when it does a full cycle off. It will ramp the blower fan up to full speed and then drop it all the way off. Selecting off now. It has popped off. Or at least the burner has kicked off. Draft inducer will still continue to run. The blower fan will speed up and the draft inducer will shut off. This is a very lengthy post purge delay. Draft inducer slow down even more. That's wow, it's slowed down even more. Blower fan hasn't even kicked up. It's just shut right off. Maybe the blower fan will speed up in a minute. I'll wait probably about a minute before I do ask it to do a full call for heat, which this thing gets pretty loud when it gets a full call. Wish that light bulb didn't make so much noise with its cooling fan in it. But it can only do so much. If I open this door and shut this light off. I guess the blower fan's not going to call for a full boost, but... Yep. Alright, I'm going to switch it back to heat, and I'm going to ask it to do a full call for heat. So I'm going to select winter, and I'm going to bump the temperature up to 70 degrees. And I'm going to duration for an hour. Come on. Oh, you got more power than that. Really? That's all you got? Come on, I know you got more power than that. Sixty-six in the house, it's got half more power than that. Maybe I gotta ask it for more. hasn't sped up its draft inducer fan because that draft inducer can run much faster than this. There we go. Now it's running at full speed. Now the blower fan is kicking up. That is what a full call of heating on a Linux 99% efficient multiple stage, multiple speed furnace is. It's actually very quiet, I'm not yelling. I would be yelling over my old furnace, which was pretty noisy compared to this one. This one's very quiet. It is the quietest furnace Linux ever sells. We've got the temperature coming out of those vents is pretty hot right now. Just in case I'm going to dehumidifier back on, just in case it ever needs to come back on, because the air coming out of it is very dry.
That is very hot air coming out of this vent. That's definitely 110, 120 degree air. Maybe a little bit less warm than that, but let's go to a vent that I know will get pretty warm. Oh, missed the light switch. Yep, that's definitely 100 plus degree air. As you can see, it's heating pretty good. With the door completely shut, this is it from the basement. This furnace does not have any sort of backup heat. It only runs on natural gas. It does not have any auxiliary heat strips or it is, it is not a uh, heat pump system. It is only natural gas and air conditioning refrigeration. It does not use heat pump or auxiliary heat strips. This is the only source of heat. So on a windy day, it does sometimes knock the pressure switch out of whack and it does not like that and it locks itself out and you have to come down and cycle the unit on and off to reset the, the air. Uh, this the unit does have humidity system, it does use its own whole house humidifier. Um, it kicks on at 40% or under when it needs to, it does do that in the morning when the thermostat kicks up into a scheduled program. It kicks up at 645, between 645 and 8, it slowly ramps up the temperature at a very low speed to bring the house temperature up. I am now going to take it out of its schedule hold. It is at 68 degrees, the unit should probably just shut off completely and you can here do a full runoff of the entire schedule. So I'm just going to put it back to its normal schedule. I'm going to take it out of its schedule hold here. Fixed it. I will not be demonstrating the humidifier today since the humidity in the house is pretty high and I will not automatically run it or else the humidity in the house will get pretty high. So now I wait for the blower fan to shut off completely. And with the furnace on full blast, the furnace kind of acts like a 80 plus, 90 plus regular style furnace where it just ramps up, ramps down, except it doesn't do that on a normal basis because it never needs to ramp up this much. I like to ramp it up at least full to full power once a year just to get the crap out of it and burn off all the unburnt dust that it doesn't burn off when running at 100, when it doesn't run at 100%. I should have, I tried to do it earlier this year, but I didn't have the time, so I'm doing it now after New Year's. And that is the full run of the Linux 99% efficient furnace from Linux distribution centers. I live in the Rochester, New York area in Isaac Heating and Cooling installed this unit. Thank you guys for installing this amazing furnace and thank you Linux for making this amazing furnace. This is one of the best furnaces I have ever used and listened to. It is super efficient. I have asked my parents, have we improved our gas bill in the winter? And they have said, yes, there is a improvement. Not a huge improvement, but if we have this unit for about 30 years, well, 
we'll see a greater improvement than the unit we had for about 20. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, peace. High five.